Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Marvish Cuisine. Biryani is capable of uniting almost every human in existence. It knows no color, race or caste. All it knows is to fulfill the dreams and hopes of millions of foodies who will always swear by the brilliance of this amazing Indian delicacy. Delight your family and friends learn how to make mouth-watering and tempting chicken biryani at home. So let's go and see what we need for this recipe. So for chicken biryani, things I have today is whole chicken, which is cut into 12 pieces. I have sliced onions. I have some cubed potatoes. Then I have some sliced or chopped tomatoes, ginger and garlic paste. And then for seasoning, I have these um, whole spices. I have some bay leaf in there. Then I have some black whole peppercorns. I have this uh, badian kapul, any storage seed. And then here you can see some cloves, um, black peppercorn. I have some black cumin and white cumin, uh, kala zira and regular safed zira. And then uh, I have some salt. I'll be using red chili powder, turmeric powder, coriander powder garam masala powder i'll be using both whole garam masala and then powder as well then here you can see i have some nutmeg and maize powder jaiful javitri and then there's a cardamom powder elaichi choti elaichi powder so these are all the spices and seasoning which i'll be adding in my biryani and then i have some yogurt i have this alu bukhara whole dried plums and then I have the saffron. That's totally optional. If you don't want to use it, you can totally skip that. I'll be using just to add some color. Then I have these pre-boiled rice and I'll just show you how I did that. So let's go and start making our rice first. So first for the rice, boil water. Then add your um, washed and soaked rice and I soak my rice for around 20 to 25 minutes and in the water I added bay leaf, kala zira and safed zira, white cumin and black cumin and some salt and let this uh, uh, rice cook until they are almost done or three quarter done and then drain the rice and then keep them on the side and let's go and start cooking our chicken. So first heat oil in a pan and then add your sliced onions and now we need to brown our onions. We need to cook onions until they are um, goldenish brownish color and this process will take a little more time like around 5 to 6 minutes and we have to cook onions on medium to high heat. While my onion was browning I thought to add my potatoes. This will fry my potatoes and they get that fried color on top and then chicken gets tender very fast so i'm not worried about potatoes they will get tender too while we cook the chicken while our onions are getting started to get that brown color as soon as the onion is getting brown it's time to add the other stuff and first i added my sliced tomatoes and then stir 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 and now we need to cook until Tomatoes are soft and completely cooked and oil comes on top and for that you can um, just mix until all the um, water is released and then you can cover and let the onions, uh, let the tomatoes get soft. So when tomatoes are soft and oil comes up then add your ginger and garlic paste, mix 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 and cook this mixture for like a minute or two so the rawness of ginger garlic paste goes away and then i added my yogurt and then mix until yogurt is completely mixed with the rest of my mixture then it's time to add a rest of our seasoning first i added my all whole garam masala here goes all bukharas and then all the rest of the seasoning and mix 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 and if you feel like at this point that masalas are burning you can add some water and uh, like around a quarter cup and that's what i did uh, and then mix again and cook for like minute or two and then add your chicken if you are making this biryani with some other meat you can add water to uh, cook the meat but for chicken we don't need any water 
uh, yogurt tomatoes and then chicken will re release its own water as well so just combine everything with the chicken and then cover and on a medium to high heat let this mixture cook until your chicken is completely tender and then make sure there isn't any um, extra liquid left so uh, if for just for example your uh, gravy should be like around one and a half to two cups so if you have if you see that there is more liquid just uh, cook it on high flame and if you think that uh, you need more liquid just add some water so you uh, apart from chicken and the potatoes your gravy should be thick and approximately it should be two cups and now it's time to assemble our biryani which is layering your rice with the chicken mixture so first uh, layer the half of the rice and then add your cooked chicken and potato mixture on top of it and then top them off with the remaining rice just spread them evenly and then i uh, mixed my saffron with some milk like two tablespoons of milk and just let it sit for five ten minutes and then i sprinkle this uh, mixture all around on top of my rice and then i sprinkle some orange or biryani food color on top of my rice as well i don't mix it if you want you can mix this food color with that saffron milk as well but I just sprinkle on top of my rice. Then cover and bring this pot back to the stove and I put a griddle underneath my pot. I didn't want my rice to get burned from the bottom and then cook on high flame for 10 minutes and then on a very slow flame, cook until rice are completely tender. Within the Indian subcontinent, this spiced rice and meat dish, biryani, is not just a delicious dinner, but it's multinational now. I made it last weekend and a house smelled divine it's my family favorite dish and I serve it with raita. And then you can layer this dish in the oven. You can add some chopped cilantro, mint or green chilies. You can add just the seasoning or you can add whatever you like to add in your biryani. And if you try this recipe, please let me know how it turned out with you guys. Don't forget to take a picture or tag me on Facebook, Twitter or on Instagram. And if you want to learn something else, let me know. Leave me a comment down below and I'll try to make it happen for you guys. And at Morwish, we are all about good recipes and about quality home cooking that everyone can enjoy. And once again, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check my previous videos.